the vlog. I hope you've all had a really, really good week. Firstly, can I just start by saying thank you so, so much for all of your lovely comments on my last video, the first vlog um, that I'd done in about four and a half months. I was quite nervous. Um, and obviously there'd been a lot of change, but you're all so lovely and it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you very, very much. Um, I'm filming in the shop today. The shop's actually closed um, just because we're still on reduced hours while we get used to things at the moment. But um, it's quite busy outside in the cafe and the courtyard and everything, which is brilliant. So if you can hear noise, that's why. Um, I'm alone in the shop um, for the moment. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot going on outside. It's so lovely to see people outside um, and around the village. It was so strange um, sort of coming in here packing orders while everything was empty and quiet. And now, yeah it's full of people and on that note we are um, for those of you that are within visiting distance of our shop in Wokingham which is where I am now um, we, I'm also really conscious because it's quite busy out there people can see me talking to myself um, but that's fine I'll get used to it um, yes so for those of you that are within visiting distance of our shop in Wokingham which is actually very easy to get to from lots of places um, we are increasing the hours that we're open from next week from the start of August 2020 so um, we're trying to get back to opening um, full time like we were before but just while things are still settling um we from next week we'll be open every day except for Thursdays and Sundays um but it will be slightly different hours so just check the website I'll link everything down below um before you come and visit us just check and then you'll know that we'll be here um so today's video I'm actually going to do a video on jersey so we've got loads of lovely lovely jersey fabrics in at the moment and I've been making quite a bit with jersey because it's just so quick and simple with a lot of patterns um, but every time I share a jersey fabric on Instagram if I put one up in our stories or share it on the grid I always always get questions about which patterns and people getting um, asking for inspiration for patterns so I thought that today what I would do we have so many we actually have some more that I haven't picked up patterns that work for jerseys and loads of different types of jerseys so I thought I would just use them as a bit of um, inspiration to talk you through what type of jersey fabrics work for which type of patterns and hopefully that will help some of you if you haven't sewn with jersey before what i would say is i did a video it was quite a long time ago but it's all still completely relevant um, on top tips for sewing with jersey and i will add a link up here or if you look back on the playlist it will be on there um, and that just gives you some suggestions on how to sew jersey but the one thing or the two things that i would say before i start chatting and showing you fabrics and patterns just to answer really common questions no you don't need an overlocker to sew with jersey you can sew jersey on your normal sewing machine as long as you can do a zigzag stitch um, and you might find that your sewing machine has a specific jersey stitch as well often known as the lightning stitch um, and then the other thing that you'll need is some jersey or stretch needles um, so hopefully you can see those and um, that just means that your machine will sew without skipping stitches and also using good quality thread but for now I um, yeah would suggest looking at that video if you're not comfortable with sewing jersey yet. The first one I'm going to start talking about is actually the one that I'm wearing. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes uh, top there it is um, which those of you that follow me on social media will know I have about 20 of these I wear them all the time it's such a simple pattern and um, um, although the front version that I just showed you has the gathered sleeve option which is actually very simple to do the back um, line drawings show you that there's a very simple version which is what I'm wearing and the lovely lady there is wearing um, which has just got plain sleeves, it's got a nice round neckline. I have made the neckband a tiny bit shorter on here and I can't remember why. 
um, but that's why there's just a tiny gather around the front neck there. Normally you wouldn't have that. Um, the other thing that you would normally do is you would normally <laughs> hem your sleeves and the bottom of your top, but I haven't actually done that, um, which is why they're rolling up because I'm super lazy. So I must get around to folding them up and hemming them. But for now, I just wear it as is. No one really seems to notice. Um, the reason I want to talk about that is because this is a brilliant beginner pattern. Um, it's quite simple. It's only got front, back, sleeves and neck band. Uh, you can sew it up on the sewing machine like all the patterns that I'm going to show you. And it works really, really well in cotton jersey, which is one of my favourite fabrics to work with. Now, this is an art gallery cotton jersey. This is called, I think it's called Lavish Ditsy Dream or something along those lines. I'll link all the fabrics that I talk about down below. But um, I think we do have it coming back into stock if it's not already. And we have some other beautiful art gallery um, jersey prints. I can't show you all the fabrics that we've got at the moment because we've got so many, but I've just picked out a few of my favorites. Now, cotton jersey is brilliant because it's a nice medium weight. It's not too light, not too heavy. It's perfect for wearing in the summer or then layering up in the winter. And it's also quite stable to work with. So when I come on and talk about some of the other jerseys, um, predominantly viscose jerseys, um, which you can make tops like this out of, and I do have a few versions myself, but they're much more stretchy and clingy. So I really, really love it in cotton jersey. This is another art gallery one that you can see. Love them. And the reason I love the art gallery ones, they are a bit pricier but the quality of them is just amazing. So I made this in April. I've worn it every week without fail and possibly more than once a week. And it's been washed every time and it just looks like new. The quality of them is so, so good. And the dyes, I don't use any harmful dyes or chemicals. Um, and this one, I've actually already got this cut. This is called um, boho fusion, yeah, boho fusion. And look at the colours on that. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, I've got a metre of this already cut off to make another one of these. And I would say I'd hem this before I make another one, but I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. So yeah, the art gallery ones are really, really perfect for that pairing. But we also have lots of others. And I thought I would show you some of the other patterns that work really well with cotton jersey. So, um, as I say, because you're looking at a slightly more stable knit, you can um, make anything that doesn't really require loads of drape. And I also prefer cotton jersey for jersey dresses, unless it's something um, like a wrap or something that has a bit of um, uh, a feature to the pattern. If it's just a plain dress, I would normally go for cotton jersey because for me, I find that it doesn't cling too much. Um, so the other ones I was going to show you. So there's a couple of Tilly ones. So there's this Romy pattern, which has a dress and top option. And you can see it's got this nice option for the open back. And again, because it's a dress, you can um, make it a little bit more interesting with the back feature, or you can make a plain and simple version like this with the boat neck which I think is really, really nice. If you're not a fan of round necks, this is a really perfect pattern. And the cotton jersey, because it's nice and stable, will just hold that nicely. If you used a viscose jersey for this, you'll find it'll be too drapey and it won't hold the bow at the back. So that's a really good one. Um, and then this one, another Tilly pattern, Again, they're so good for beginners, for those of you that are learning, for people like me that just want to sew something quick and simple and have a new addition to your wardrobe, which is my favourite. Um, Tilly's patterns are brilliant. So this is the Nora pattern, and this is a much looser fit, so much more relaxed style. Um, and again, you'll notice with the patterns, they've got long sleeve options, but they've all got short sleeve options as well. Um, and because it's a bit drapier, you could wear it almost like a sweater. Um, and you can, again, you can make it in a viscose jersey, but it would be much, much drapier. With a cotton jersey, it would just hold its shape that little bit more. So um, something like this, which I didn't actually realise until a customer pointed it out to me the other day. We've got this lovely soft, pink and white striped cotton jersey. I always feel like I'm doing that weird, hello. 
um, which I love, and it actually <laughs> looks like it matches the pattern envelope. So um, yeah, that would work really, really well together. So yeah, if you're a beginner, cotton jerseys are the way to go. If you just want something that's quite stable, not too clingy, not too drapey, cotton jersey is brilliant. And like I say, you can kind of wear it all seasons. Just picked out another of the few designs that we've got in stock. We've got loads, we've got, I'm looking at at the moment, some beautiful floral designs, some cotton jersey leopard prints, some really nice novelty prints as well. Um, yeah, we've got so many lovely ones in. I will link everything down below so you can see. Um, this one I just had to show you because I love it so much. I love the colours. I don't know. Because I'm leaning on the table, I'm a bit further away to the camera than normal. So hopefully you'll be able to see, but it's a really nice kind of lighter pink with greys and navy. And um, although they are sort of floral, they're more of like a retro um, geometric floral. So yeah, I really, really like that one. Another pattern that I wanted to show you, which is quite similar to the Agnes, um, but slightly different shape, is this new one that we've got in. So it's new to us, it's um, by Deer and Doe. I love their patterns. Deer and Doe draft um, more for a kind of hourglass or pear, pear shaped shape, which I find quite helpful for my shape. Um, and this is a jersey top or dress option but it's got a couple of different features that i thought you guys would quite like so can you see it's got a color blocking option so you could have the top part and the bottom part in either different solid colors you could do it in um you know one part patterned and then uh, we have a really nice range of solid colored cotton jerseys in at the moment um so you could do a colour block option or it also has the option just to do um, a plain um, or a, a one um, colour dress or one fabric dress and then it has the top options as well and it has a sleeveless dress option. So the reason I particularly like this is if you've been following for a while you'll know that I have made quite a few jersey dresses from the Agnes pattern but I always draft it downwards um, which is fine and I can do that but it does often mean that sometimes I end up with a bit of excess at the hip which I then have to pin out um, otherwise I look like I've got saddlebags. So I'm going to give this pattern a try because I think it will actually give me a much better fit. I'm just still trying to work out <laughs> which way to put everything. Um, I'm not quite back in my usual rhythm, but um, yeah, I think that will give me a much better fit. So that's another great pattern. And one last one that I couldn't resist showing you. Um, as I say, there's so many more in the shop, but um, if I showed you all of them, this would go on forever. Um, but this is so pretty. This is another cotton jersey and it's like a terrazzo print, which is so in at the moment. And I think this is what I'm going to take to make this because I love it and it's quite a warm pinky tone um, fabric so I think I can wear it for summer um, but also in winter and you've got the greys in there as well and the more sort of um, deeper pinks but what I love about all the quality of the cotton jerseys that we've got in is that when you stretch them you don't see the white um, sometimes when fabrics are printed um, you'll notice that they're printed on the white background and then with jersey if you stretch them you get the white showing through so you need to look for the good quality cotton jersey so that you don't get that obviously if you're over stretching it I mean this has about 50 to 60 percent stretch in it if you're really pulling it you're probably going to get a little bit of white but you don't want to be doing that anyway so yeah those are the cotton jerseys and um, sort of four patterns that I thought would work really well with them and then uh, another one that I will show you for cotton jerseys which works really nicely is um, the Liesl & Co chai tea now this is a really nice simple t-shirt with a kind of rounded but almost boat neckline um, but I love it because you've got these little pleat details and these cute little sleeve cuffs hopefully you can see 
works really nicely. You could, again, you could make it in a viscose jersey, but it would just be a lot drapier, and they do recommend cotton jerseys. The other brilliant thing about the Lees & Co patterns is they have different cup sizes. So if you're, I don't know why I to do that. If you are um, ample of chest, um, then it's really handy. You don't need to worry about doing any kind of um, full bust adjustment. Although to answer the question that I always get, I don't do a full bust adjustment on these. I tend to grade out, um, sorry, grade in at the waist um, and then just grade out slightly at the bust because on knit patterns for me, if I was a perfectionist, then I would do an, a, a knit, um, a dartless FBA, but I'm the type of person that doesn't even hem my sleeve. So I'm not even going to get into that. And then the next one I'm going to talk about is viscose jersey because I get so many questions about this. So um, if you watch the video that I mentioned earlier with the tips and tricks, it talks about the different types of jerseys and what they are and things. Um, but essentially, viscose jersey has a much larger composition of viscose, so normally about 97-98% viscose, um, which is very similar to the, let me just grab this to show you, the very drapey, lovely viscoses that you make um, your woven patterns from, but it has um, three or four percent elastane. So whereas the other one that I was showing you is the majority of cotton, so 97, 98 percent cotton, and then the rest elastane, these are viscose, and that means that you keep that drape and that movement like from the woven fabric that I just showed you. So what that means is when you're looking at patterns to use your viscose jerseys for you want something that requires drape and movement something that's not too fitted and not too um not too much of a, a solid block pattern because if i made this top lengthened it down into a dress like i've done many times with my cotton jersey it would just sag a little bit there isn't um enough of um, a pattern break to hold the weight of the fabric um so this one i love i love this so much and again i think it's nice because the tones make it good for sort of summer or autumn winter um we've had this in a few times so you might have seen it i think it's called something like flowering mist oh no I made that up it's called midnight roses so beautiful and um, there is actually a hack um, on the Tilly and the Buttons website for making this top, the Agnes, cutting it at the waist and then having a gathered skirt, that would work nicely with a viscose jersey. So because you've got that kind of, you've only got the viscose on the um, top part of the pattern and then you've got the viscose again in a separate skirt piece and you've got a waist seam in there. So that would work really nicely. I'll link it down below. But a couple of the other patterns that work really well. So this is really popular. It's been around for quite a while. It's the Closet Case Ebony Dress and Top. And it's a very drapey, loose fitting, kind of trapeze style, what do they call it? Um, elegant basic featuring a fluidly draped silhouette. I love that, fluidly draped silhouette. Um, yeah, swingy knit dress or modern crop top um, with the choice of scoop or jewel neckline. So you can see all the options on there. And I have seen so many gorgeous versions um, of this pattern made up. I love it as a dress. I love it as a top. I think it looks so, so pretty. Um, here's another one. But yeah, it works much, much better in a viscose jersey that's got this fluidity and movement than it would in something like a cotton jersey because then you're going to find that it's too structured and um, you won't get that drape. So this one I love. This is called, I think this is called Pink Fizz. Um, and it's so pretty. Look at all those colours. Really lovely, pale pink beautiful um what else we've got a lovely new pattern in from sew house seven which again you can make in viscose jersey or even something slightly heavier weight like a sweatshirting um but i think it would look really really lovely in viscose because you'll get a that kind of drape like you've got can you see here I love the neckline on this. I really love it. And it's one I haven't actually made before. So um, 
you can see from the line drawings on the back, you've got a couple of different sleeve options, you've got a couple of length options, and then you've got a couple of nice neckline options. So again, this one they say, um, you want lightweight fluid knit fabrics with at least 25% stretch. So again, you're talking about viscoses, um, rayon jerseys, etc. This one is a solid colour, but I wanted to show it to you. I mean, lots of us love solid colours. I do actually like solid colours, even though it seems like I wear patterns all the time. But it's so, so soft. I wish you could climb in to the screen and feel it. It's got a nice medium weight to it, and it is just beautiful. It's a navy, but it's a really rich navy. And I'm going to tell you now, I've already got some of this cut off and I'm going to make a dress out of it. I just haven't decided which one. But, um, you know, when we talk about wearing knit clothes and calling them secret pyjamas, this is it. It is so soft. We've also got it in like a crushed raspberry colour, um, more of like a deeper um, ready purple, uh, or pinky purple, I should say. But yeah. This is beautiful. It would look amazing made up in something like that. Really, really love it. And if I didn't say this is the Tabor V-neck by So House 7. Another pattern that's great for viscose jerseys. So lovely. Um, the cashmere patterns. So this is um, like a fit and flare dress, but for jersey. And you can see it's got that really nice shape. You've got a v-neck and then you've got a waist seam in there really really nice cashmere patterns are brilliant they come in sizes um 16 to 24 in uk sizes or 12 to 28 in um us sizes um really really lovely and then oh, randomly picked up a jeans pattern um Two other viscose jerseys I wanted to show you because they're just so cute. Couldn't resist. Um, they're the same print but in different colours. They're called um, Heart, Hand on Heart, and you'll see why. Um, I just love them so much. This one's the pink, and it's got these adorable little hands on it. And then when you look closer, got little hearts as well so you can see for scale if you're at a distance oh that looks lovely if uh, <laughs> I'd forgotten what it's like to just constantly hold fabrics up and think oh I love that one. Oh, I love that one too um if you're at a distance you wouldn't even be able to tell it looks more like sort of polka dots and things and as you get closer you get the hands really really nice there are quite a few pdf patterns around as well that are great for viscose jerseys I know so over it have got quite a few um in their new ebook and also um just in their general collection which obviously I can't show you because they're pdfs um and then we've got it in a mustard colorway as well there you go and it's it's probably a brighter mustard than usual it's more of like a yeah like a golden color it's not yellow it's definitely um mustard but it's got that gold tone to it really really love that one um another pattern which is a kind of new to us pattern company we've only just started stocking them but they've been around forever is style up and i love this remember what i said about having maybe a little bit of um interest um in the middle or breaking up the pattern slightly this one has that it's called the astoria knit dress and you've got that really nice tie option. So their printed patterns look a bit different to some of the other ones I've shown you, but all the instructions are in there as well. So that's a really nice one. The final type of jersey that I'm going to talk about today is Ponty, or sometimes known as double knit. They are slightly different, but again, I'm not going to go into the terminology too much, but it's essentially a heavier weight um, jersey. So we don't stock loads of the ponties at the moment purely because it's summer here and people don't tend to buy them as much um, but as we go through into September we'll have a lot more we have a lovely range of solid colours of them in at the moment so you can see compared to your cotton jersey um, which is oh I'm throwing all the patterns on the floor 
which is kind of like your medium weight, quite a bit of stretch. Then you've got your viscose jersey, lighter weight and loads more stretch. And then you've got your ponte, which is heavier um, and then not as much stretch. This is lighter than sweatshirting weight jersey, which tends to be um, even heavier still and often has sort of um, like fleece back or um, looped back. Um, finish on the fabric. This um, with Ponte tends to be very similar on both sides, although there is a right and a wrong side, and it's just that little bit more stable, just that little bit heavier. So this is perfect for something nice and simple like the Coco pattern. Um, the reason it's perfect is the Coco has a slightly A-line shape. This is such a popular beginner's pattern. If you've never sewn anything with jersey before, this one is the way to go. It does remind me, I have actually done a video before as well of my top picks for jersey top patterns, which I talk more about jersey tops and matching patterns to fabric. I'll try and link that up there. Um, but because this is slightly A-line, a ponte holds its shape really well. So you can um, make it out of a cotton jersey and it will hold the shape okay, but with a ponte, you'll get that really obvious effect um the other one is this which i absolutely love i haven't made it yet and i need to because i really really love the different options this is the megan nielsen jara pattern um so this is uh, a sweatshirt but you can use sweatshirting or ponty weight um for either you could even make a summer version in cotton jersey but um i'm going to talk about the ponty because it holds the shape really nicely and it's kind of designed as a sweater which you'd think would be heavier weight so um yeah I love this option with the tie um but you can see from the back there you've got like a funnel neck option you've got a more simple version you've got versions without the tie and then you've got that tie waist really really like that that would work really well in ponties and then we do also have a gents pattern um by thread theory which is the sayward raglan and this is like a sweatshirt t-shirt etc so this you could use um cotton jerseys for if you wanted to make a lighter weight summer one um, and again you've got color blocking options there because you could do different colors on the sleeves if you wanted to would work really well with some of our solid cotton jerseys but then you've also um, got the option to make it in something slightly thicker like these ponties um, and that would take you through autumn so if anyone um, is a gent and watching, we've got those in. Um, or if you're less selfish than me and so for other people, you might want to um, make one of those for someone that you know. Um, so I hope that you found that useful. I'm still getting back into the swing of it. So I hope I haven't rambled on for too long. Um, but yeah, just think about what pattern you want to make if you want it to hold its shape you want something a little bit more structured like a cotton jersey if you want it to be a bit warmer and a bit heavier still then you want a ponte um, or a double knit or if um, your pattern calls for a bit more drape and a bit more movement then you are looking at a um, a viscose jersey, a rayon jersey, a bamboo jersey, something that's a little bit more fluid. Um, and hopefully I've given you some useful pattern suggestions because we've got so many amazing patterns in at the moment. And it's really, really exciting me that I'm managing to stock more and more pattern companies. I've just had to order some new shelving to put them all out. So I will link everything down below. If you've got any questions, pop them down below as well. I'll try and answer them. Um, I don't always manage to get through every comment but if there's a question I will try and answer it and I hope that you all have a really great week and I will see you again soon. Take care guys, bye! <laughs>